the life of an entrepreneur, as you've just literally summed it up so perfectly, is exactly that. It's not easy. You're you're choosing to live a one percent life that nobody else wants. <laughs>、uh, do they really understand what branding really is? Because I don't think people really do. No,、oh, you know, success isn't guaranteed, but failure is.、And、don't ever, ever give up on what you're doing, because it's too easy to quit. They want the top of the mountain, but they don't want to climb the mountain. Hay fever on this glorious coastal day. Right, people. Another topic of discussion that might interest some of you. It might not. But at the end of the day, some of the people that follow my stuff consider themselves entrepreneurs, and I'm a little bit run down today.、Uh, And the topic of burning out is coming up a lot. Now, a year ago, maybe two, three years ago, I didn't really believe in this topic. But considering on what I've just bought, Benadryl, hay fever, paracetamol, cold and flu tablets, and a very strong Red Bull to get me through, just. This vlog, I don't know, and I'm gonna explain why. I need to pause this thing because living an entrepreneurial life is entirely different to living a normal nine-to-five structured life. So. When you make the conscious choice to say, "I want this," my ambition is this. I have these goals. You're making a choice, so you're literally saying, "I want to be that one percent." So, all the things like a regular paycheck,、uh, working for a boss, working for a company. Security, comfortability, all those normal things, whatever industry it's in, they disappear. And I know it's cool and it's exciting. And ever since the last ten years, you know, it looks like it's gonna be instant millionaire. You know, driving around in Lamborghinis and stuff. But in reality, it's not because of the things I've just mentioned. You don't have that security. And The term "burning out" is thrown around quite a lot at the moment, and as you can hear, I'm a little bit run down.、Um, so, you know, a lot of people don't want to accept it because they're like, "Oh, I can't admit that." You know, I'm feeling a little bit bad today. I can't post that. I can't share that. Why the fuck not? Y- you know. People only wanna, and this goes back to a video I posted recently. You know, people are scared of losing. If you are pursuing an entrepreneurial life, it's not just the glitz and the glamour. You know, you have to document everything. You know, over the last two, three years, I've had probably loads of days like this, 
because you are literally saying to the rest of society and to the rest of the world that I want to be the 1%. I don't want all of that. I don't want the security of the 9 to 5. I want a chance, a shot at making it. How crazy is that? Now, if you're good, you'll do it. But, and if you're actually working hard and busting your ass every day, you know, 23 hours of the day up until late 2 a.m., you know, reaching out to people, doing the work that you, you're, you're supposed to be doing, of course you're gonna have days like this. Of course you're gonna have moments when it catches up with you. Because that's, that's just, that's just normal. But people don't want to share it. People don't want to admit. So what they would rather do is they'd rather fake and they'd rather post the uh, the fancy photos, the glamour, as if everything's okay. I'm fucking exhausted. I'm held together by like caffeine and, and, and pills right now. But I'm documenting. This will be a vlog. I've done three posts already today. And you know, my following and my um, subscriber count is going up and up and up and up. And my uh, interaction with local businesses, what my whole uh, brand is about, and my awareness is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So, you know, you can't let something like that and a vulnerability stop you. And look, of course, if you're in a nine to five environment, if you're in a structured environment, things are gonna be different. I worked in the fitness industry. At the end of the day, entrepreneurship is a lifestyle, just like any other working environment. A nine to five, uh, an office place, uh, if you're working in a trade, if you're a t-shirt, whatever, it, it's a lifestyle. And what people forget about entrepreneurship is it is a lifestyle. Um, so, of course, and I'll go out on a limb here because some people might not agree with me, but if you are choosing to be and live an entrepreneur, entrepreneurial lifestyle, there is a chance you are going to be less healthy. Some people might not agree with that, but there is a chance. I don't know many people, unless you are extremely strict and have a lot of money and a lot of spare time and are, all, and are already successful, that are pursuing an entrepreneurial life and are tip top healthy. I don't know many people that are doing that because it's a fact. If you are doing the lifestyle and having to sacrifice a lot because you have to, you have to give up the securities, the comfortabilities of everything that you already knew. You can't afford to have the luxuries of, um, of, of looking after your health. And I know that sounds stupid to some people. It's like, well, it's basic. You know, it doesn't cost much. Well, it's almost a, it, it's a choice. You know, some, some people who pursue uh, a lifestyle of entrepreneurship, it, it, it consumes you, it takes over. And some people don't get that. Some people think, oh, well, yeah, it's just something I slap on an Instagram and I do it for maybe an hour a day. No, it's not that. It is everything. It is every minute of every day and it is my entire life. That is, that is the lifestyle. You know, you can't afford to go to a retreat or a holiday or, you know, oh, I'm going to Ibiza this year. I'm going to get tan. You can't afford to uh, think about you know, the normal things that a lot of people think about in terms of how they look, you know, um, how many haircuts they're gonna get this month, how many times they're gonna go to a gym, you know, what diet plan they're on, general lifestyle stuff. 
all of that kind of things go out the fucking window because your mind is focused entirely on your business, entirely on your brand, entirely on your goals, entirely on your ambition. And what happens is that can catch up with you. Um, now, I it may seem like I have a lot of energy for somebody who's feeling a little bit run down, but that's probably the caffeine. <laughs> um, and the reason why I'm documenting this is because, you know, there are a lot of people, as I've said in the other video, it's okay. Um, you know, it's okay to, if you, if you feel like that, just, uh, the important thing is, I was talking to somebody, I was talking to my client this morning, regardless if, if you have a burnout, if that's the term, I don't really know whether I believe in it or not, regardless if you feel run down, uh, if it catches up with you, if it all gets too much, the important thing is to, to never, never stop believing in what you're doing because this is a current theme. There's a lot of people in top YouTubers, uh, influencers, artists, celebrities. I mean, it's, it's everywhere, right? And what happens is the sustainability of the intensity of which they're going, it catches up, right? And it, it's bound to because nobody can live that way for a certain amount of time. But the important thing to remember, always have in your head, always keep ticking over, is am I happy with what I'm doing? Is this, is this my passion? Am I following my dream? Is it always, always, always? Because, you know, you can, you can tumble over. You can, ha you can go through a rough patch. But as long as you're on the right track in terms of your passion, then you'll always kind of end up on your feet. You'll always, you'll always end up in the right direction. You know, I've, I've experienced this kind of thing loads of times in the last three years, starting what I'm doing now. But I know that I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't have it any other way. And I'm so passionate about what I'm doing because of the response I get when I'm with a client or when I'm talking to somebody or when I'm helping somebody or when I get feedback from somebody on Instagram. I wouldn't have it any other way. And if that means staying up till 4 a.m. you know, in the morning and then, you know, feeling rough afterwards, then, then fuck it, you know, because that's what you do. And once you stop loving what you do, then it's time to bow out. You know, not when you're feeling tired, not when you're feeling a bit rough. Once you stop loving what you do, then it's time to bow out. Okay? Right. I wasn't planning on vlogging this, but it's an important vlog, so I'm going to publish it. Drink my caffeine. And i I got to go back to work. Peace out.